Hello! I hope your day is going great. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a snapshot, so I am unable to zoom into my face with Optifine. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> um, so I will have to be zooming into my face in post. It's, it's required. I need it for emphasis. <laughs> Um, but it would make it all worth it if you like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated and helps out a ton. Anyway, onto the beef of the half-baked hamburger that this video is. 1.18 is in the works, and with it, a complete overhaul of terrain generation, and of course, caves. Stalagmites, stalactites, stalagbites. You want it, you might get it. I don't know, I'm not a Minecraft dev, but that is besides the point. The caves are considerably bigger. I don't know if you're excited, but I am not. Caves are scary as is. But the new space generated leaves room for bigger underground builds with much less terraforming. So, I came up with a few ideas that you might want to build in your own caves. So, let's get into those. Now, they're all mock-ups, so don't expect any masterpieces. First, we have something I might actually build in my free time once I have free time. But I think a underground archaeological... Um, digging site would be really neat with like a sunken temple or something even like a temple that's like completely like redstoned out to have like traps and stuff there's nothing in this one currently but um, I think it'd be really neat to have an underground temple they're neat temples in general are really cool and of course I built a little tent here for um, the archaeologists to live a chest that can't be accessed and a little book to keep the details in but I think this would be really neat, especially like a really big temple next to like a small site, a uh, small tent for um, just a few archaeologists. I think that'd be really cool to really show the scale of how massive this ancient civilization could build with the tools that they have. And I think it would tell a really cool story. Our next one is a bit more on the fanciful side. Uh, here I have a little fairy village with, uh, mushrooms. I think a cave that's full of mushrooms and, um, houses, maybe not this size, maybe a size you can actually access, um, would be really neat to have in your world, especially if you want to do, like, cottage core and stuff, which I am a huge fan of, um, just because mushrooms are amazing. I love mushrooms and I love fairies. Who doesn't? But I think this would be really neat to have in your world, and each house could be a villager house, or, um, and serve its own purpose. A really neat, uh, trading hall if you want to go that fancy for your, um, <laughs> villagers. Um, I wouldn't. I tend to just torture them. But, that's beside the point. This is up to you guys. <laughs> um, but I think this would also be really neat. I want you to look at me and ask yourself seriously if I look like a person who can do organics. <laughs> now that you have that answer in mind, I present to you a half-baked dragon. <laughs> I put him in the oven for just like three minutes short, and he came out like this, really. Um, but I think um, if you personally are really good at organics, or really like dragons, um, I think having a dragon in one of these giant caves would be really neat, because it really lends itself to a place where a dragon would live, because why not? Why wouldn't a dragon take up a home as big as this? Plenty of room for its uh, gold hoard. I don't know if it really would really serve any purpose <laughs> in your world except looking neat uh, and possibly gold storage, but uh, it'd be a really neat be build to have in your world. Next, we have a pirate grotto, and you can probably tell that this one was the one I was most excited to build because it has the most detail, still not a lot of detail, but the most out of all of them. Um, so here we have a little skull and um, a stony hand that's holding a pile of gold and a place for the pirate to hang out, you know, as pirates do. place for your enemies, a boat, of course. You can't be a pirate without one. And I think a build like this, well, really neat in this small area, I think it would really shine in a cave that looks more like this um obviously where it would have it would have to be a bit taller so that you'd actually have room to build ships in it 
But I think a giant cave like this would lend itself, and since it's full of water, would lend itself really well to a underground pirate hideaway. I have here a suspended railway. This one doesn't really go anywhere except the void. Right down there. There he goes. But I think it would be really neat to have this head to like a storage system or just have like a little animation to your cave. Um, especially if you're going for a rustic sort of mine shaft or a um, steampunky build. It adds a little animation, a bit of movement, and would be really cool. Just basically, it'd be really cool. Um, especially ha if you have it like weaving in and out of the slag tights and stalag mites. This last one, if you do not have this in your world, you are doing Minecraft wrong. If you do not have a statue of me in your world, you are you're wrong. I have here a perfect face, truly um, chiseled chin, um, really defined in features. I feel like it's just perfect in every way, and if you don't have it, an, a statue of me in your world, or just a computer with my face on it in your back cave or whatever, you're doing Minecraft wrong. But jokes aside, I do have a serious question, guys. Did these blocks exist before? <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm just stuck in 1.12, but chiseled quartz block and quartz bricks, like, they're blowing my mind for some reason. Did they exist? Am I going insane? Probably a bit of both, honestly. Please, uh, tell me in the comments if these are real or if you like any of the other... <laughs> any of the ideas that I presented today, but that's gonna have to, oh, that's gonna have to end it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, it's always appreciated, and hey, if you build any of these in your own world, uh, having been inspired by this short little video here, uh, join my Discord, uh, that I share with my friend, and please, uh, show me it, because I want to see these actually, like, built up fully. I think it'd be really cool to see. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!